Hi, Block 2 Engineering Principal students. How are you all doing? Um, I hope that you had kind of a nice relaxing day on Tuesday. Just kind of gave some peer feedback. I got all those points added up and put it into the grade book. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know. But I just went through and I averaged the points that you all assigned for each other and put that as a group grade. It was worth 20 points, kind of about four points for each section. So, um, but we've, we're done with that. For the most part, we have a couple groups that will still be presenting next week um, at the Innovation Fair. But for everybody, I wanna to talk to you about the next things coming up. So uh, the first thing is we have only a few days left in class. Um, your last official day of class will be May 14th for the Block 2 um, students. And so that gives us, um, you know, kind of a couple weeks, which is really about four or five classes to kind of wrap things up. So um, we have, we'll have class today, which is April 30th. Then we have two next week and then two the following. So it gives us kind of five uh, class days. Um, if you have anything that you didn't get completed or um, are feeling behind on your grades, you'll have after May 14th to work on that. But for most students, uh, May 14th will be your last block to class. So um, before we get to that date, we still have some classwork to wrap up. Typically, I show a movie. Um, I'll share that link with you. Um, we ran out of time this year to see it, but I think it's a really beautiful movie. It's called The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. about a kid who is in Africa and learns how to use engineering to kind of better himself and better his village. Um, so sadly, we don't get to do that, um, but I always want to wrap up this class with the first thing, which is an engineering uh, career research project. And I'm gonna have you all um, do some research about an engineering career that you might be interested in. I've got a link to a whole bunch of different engineering jobs. And um, then what you'll do is you'll create a Flipgrid video presentation for that. And you can um, just answer in Flipgrid and just do a video presentation there. You can also use WeVideo and make a video presentation that way. You can make a Google slide and narrate it in WeVideo, something like that. Or you could use uh, Screencastify, that's another video tool. Or you could uh, make a YouTube video, it's kind of up to you, but you gotta make some sort of video presentation talking about what type of engineering career you're interested in. So that's the first assignment that you have to get done. And that needs to be completed by May uh, 13th. Because uh, on May 14th, we'll go through and view each other's video presentations. So um, keep that in mind. Engineering, career, video presentation due May 13th. All right. Now, the second project that you will complete uh, before the end of class is the Dyson Engineering Challenge. Dyson is a really innovative engineering company. They come out with all different types of um, products that make our lives better. Some of you might have seen the Dyson vacuum or the Dyson uh, vacuum robot or the Dyson um, fanless hand dryer. Um, but Dyson has come up with a bunch of engineering challenges uh, for, for kids. And so there's probably 20 different engineering challenges. So what you need to do is pick one of those challenges and complete that. Um, and you have to document kind of your process of building and completing that engineering challenge. Um, there's a link to a PDF that has 50 pages about each of the challenges, or 50 pages, a couple pages for each challenge. And you pick one of those challenges and then build it. And hopefully you uh, pick an engineering challenge that is interesting to you and pick a challenge that you have the materials for at home. I don't want you going out to Target or Home Depot to buy uh, materials for this engineering challenge. So please... Um, find one that interests you, but also that you have the materials at home. And then you, there's a Google Doc that you will submit photographs and put in answers for your process of getting that done. So those are that needs to be done by May 18th. So I'm giving you kind of that weekend after May 15th to put some more time into that one. So uh, today is April 30th. You have until May 18th to get that done. Um, in the meantime, I'll probably just be asking you pictures or asking you like, to do attendance and maybe show me some evidence of you working on your projects. But that will be all for the next couple weeks is you have those two projects to work on, the video engineering research project and the Dyson engineering project. And then you'll have to do some um, you know, exit slips and some daily attendance. Um, 
So uh, hopefully this video is a bit shorter than the one the other day. I'll let you go in just a second, but today's secret word is SpaceX. So if you can give me that secret word of SpaceX, um, I will be happy to award you some extra credit points. Now, um, and then other than that, just make sure you fill out the exit slip today. Be thinking about what engineering career you might be interested in doing later on in life. And also have fun with that engineering challenge. I really hope that you guys get a chance to break away from sitting at the computer and doing that kind of stuff and go outside and build some things and test some things. So I think a lot of the engineering challenges look really fun and uh, would love to have that as an assignment. So I hope you do too. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget secret word is SpaceX. And I will talk to all of you next week. Take care, everybody. I miss you all. Block two.